What is up YouTube? This is Alex Rose and I make weekly videos about producing, DJing, my life, everything in between, sometimes tutorials, sound design, all that jazz. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to make your own unique G House basses coming up right after this. What is up guys, so we're here in FL Studio and I've got a bit of a G-House drop already going on and I'm basically just gonna init the main bass plex synth and I'm gonna teach you guys how to make that kind of thing. Uh, big ups to Evolution of Sound and uh, Zen World for releasing this awesome Confessions Volume 2 pack that I use so much, uh, it's used in here. I'm going for kind of a Loge 21 type of feel uh, on this tutorial and with this track uh, so that's the kind of thing that we'll be doing no hat today as well thought I would just uh, rip the all natural look <laughs> So that's kind of the gist of it. So we're going to be focusing in on uh, the bass part here, which sounds like this. So I'm going to leave the sub on and then we're going to be focusing on this guy up here. I'm going to turn these other synths off. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is just initialize this. And first things first, we're going to shape the sound. We're going to have to decide what kind of G House uh, synth we want. We're going to go for kind of a plucky one. So we're just going to bring this down here. We'll give it just a tiny bit of sustain in case we want to hold it down for longer. All right, and we're going to throw the octave down. And then we're going to pick I'm gonna throw this guy on as well. See what that sounds like. All right, so uh, next thing we want to do is make a filter. So we're just gonna go with this regular low pass. We're gonna put the envelope on the cutoff here to get kind of a plucky sound and we're gonna route to both A and B. All right, next thing we have to decide is uh, our wavetables. Um, for this, I'm gonna go with, I think just a square for the main guy, basic shapes. And let's pick some random thing. This is where you can get more, uh, it's more exciting with how you want the direction of your sound to be. You can just pick like basically any of these, pick a random growl table and see what that sounds like for this upper guy. Let's try to do some f maybe wavetable movement here. So it's adding a lot of like gradients to the sound, which is awesome. That's exactly what we want. Um, we're gonna make this bass wide by adding two voices to this guy, lowering down the detune. And now here's kind of a cool thing you can do to add something different to your uh, bases is actually add a noise and just pick a random or organic or any of these kind of attack miscellaneouses. You can get some pretty interesting ones. If you go to, there's some that are like, yeah, glass lid and stuff like this. And then just throw the level all the way down, put the envelope like that. If you put key tracking on that way, um, the noise will follow the pitch that you're playing and it adds kind of a weird um, tonality that you don't really get out of a lot of the basses that um, makes it sound like you're putting a bunch of effort into adding like effects and stuff when you're really not. It's, it's cool because it adds kind of a transient feel that isn't super, super common with this type of thing. We're just going to put this like tiny little attack envelope on the course pitch. Mm -hmm. 
And that gives it a, a stronger attack as well. So we'll put on this course pitch like that. So now already we have like a really, you know, a bass that's cutting through the mix really well because of that attack. And now we'll just put some effects on it. Just a tiny bit of size on our dimension here. We're going to distort it before the dimension actually and leave it the regular tube distortion but you can really put it any way you want and we'll just do a band pass so that we're only doing kind of the mids, mid distortion like so. Drive all the way up, mix all the way down. Maybe let's add a chorus, see what that sounds like. And then finally, we're going to do some EQ where we lower the highs a bit. So there we have it. We've got kind of a, a cool little bass in the works here. Distorted, you could add FM synthesis if you want. This is just a really quick way to make kind of, you know, a, a good bass, good future house type of bass. You know, if you put up the chorus, you'll get more of that kind of Shami vibe. sounds like someone talking so it's kind of a cool effect let's hear what it sounds like in context with the other synths and G House it really is details that bring out um, the, the synths that you're using as well as having really hard-hitting basses so like uh. So I hope that helped you guys. It's just a quick video about uh, making G-House basses because I know a lot of you have been asking for it. If you liked, please subscribe, uh, like the video, and comment what future videos you'd like to see, what tutorials you're itching for. This is Alex Rose. Thank you for watching. Bye. Uh. Uh.